in the heart of the Middle East, a nation with a history of defiance and resilience continues to challenge the global balance of power. Iran, known for its ancient civilization, deep-rooted culture, and enduring resistance to Western pressure, has once again taken center stage in the world of military technology. In 2025, the Islamic Republic unveiled the latest iteration of its long-range ballistic missile the Amshah, an engineering marvel that is both admired and feared by nations across the globe. But what makes the Amshah missile so significant? Why has this particular weapon triggered alarms from Washington to Tel Aviv, and what does it mean for the future of warfare in the region? Today, on Luxury Dynamic, we're diving deep into the story behind Iran's Amshah missile its development, capabilities, geopolitical implications, and what it signals for the ever-shifting dynamics of the 21 ST century battlefield. To understand the significance of the 2025 Khoramshah missile, we have to go back. The missile is named after the city of Khoramshah, a key battleground during the Iran-Iraq war in the 1980s. A city that bore the brunt of invasion, held strong, and became a symbol of resistance. Iran's choice to name this missile after Khoramshah is not coincidental it's symbolic. It's a statement. It says, we remember. We will defend. We will never be caught unprepared again. Iran's missile program has grown under international scrutiny for decades. From the Shehab series to the Sejjil, each missile has marked a step toward self-reliance in defense. But the Khoramshah series A particularly the 2025 Model A represents a leap in both range and precision. What sets the 2025 Khoramshah missile apart is its advanced technology. This isn't just a rocket with brute force. It's a guided, precise, and highly mobile weapon that can be launched from various platforms. The 2025 version reportedly has a range of approximately 2,000 kilometers, allowing it to strike deep into enemy territory A from Tel Aviv to parts of southern Europe all while carrying a payload of up to 1,500 kilograms. But range is just one part of the equation. What truly elevates the 2025 Khoramshah is its guidance system. Earlier Iranian missiles were notorious for lacking accuracy. They were a threat, yes, but a scattered one. This time, Iran has reportedly equipped the Khoramshah with an advanced inertial navigation system, combined with possible satellite correction technology. This drastically improves its circular error probably or sepe bringing it much closer to Western standards. This missile can now hit targets with surgical precision. We're no longer talking about a show of force. We're talking about a strategic weapon that can dismantle high-value targets say airbases, command centers, critical infrastructure A with minimal deviation. On the battlefield, speed equals survival. The 2025 Khoramshah has a re-entry vehicle that is not only maneuverable but also extremely fast. Some analysts estimate its terminal velocity can exceed Mach 10. At that speed, it becomes nearly impossible for existing missile defense systems, including the highly advanced Israeli Iron Dome or even the American Thud system, to intercept it. If confirmed, this single factor turns the Khoramshah from a regional threat into a game changer. Now let's talk mobility. Traditional ballistic missiles are cumbersome. They require specific launch pads, fueling time, and obvious infrastructure. But the 2025 Khoramshah is road mobile. Mounted on heavy trucks and capable of quick deployment. It can be moved undetected and launched with little notice. This kind of mobility makes it extremely difficult to locate and neutralize before launch, adding a significant challenge for any adversary planning a preemptive strike. The implications are clear Iran has developed a missile that can hide, move fast, 
hit hard, and reach far. It's no longer about testing missiles in the desert. This is about real world readiness. But why now? Why 2025? Why is Iran choosing to escalate its missile capabilities at this particular moment in history? The answer lies in geopolitics. The Middle East remains a region riddled with conflict, tension, and power struggles. Israel and the United States have long expressed concern over Iran's missile program, linking it to potential nuclear ambitions. Although Iran maintains that its missile program is purely defensive, the timing of the Koramshah's unveiling tells a different story. In 2025, regional dynamics are more volatile than ever. Ongoing normalization between Arab states and Israel, continued American military presence in the Gulf, and shifting alliances in Iraq, Syria, and Lebanon all contribute to a security environment where Iran feels increasingly cornered. From Tehran's perspective, strengthening missile deterrence is not just about power A it's about survival. And let's not forget the symbolism. The 2025 Koram Shah was unveiled during Sacred Defense Week at the annual commemoration of the Iran-Iraq War. Standing beside the missile were senior members of the IRGC, smiling, proud. The message was crystal clear, Iran is not just remembering its past that is preparing for its future. But every weapon has two faces. As much as it deters enemies, it also attracts attention A and retaliation. The international reaction to the 2025 Koram Shah has been swift and divided. The United States condemned the missile test, accusing Iran of destabilizing the region and violating UN Security Council resolutions. Israel, as expected labeled the missile a direct threat and reiterated its right to self-defense, even hinting at possible preemptive action. Russia and China, on the other hand, have taken a more cautious stance. While not openly supporting the missile, they also emphasized Iran's right to self-defense, especially in the context of increasing Western military presence around its borders. This dichotomy in global response reveals more than just political posturing it shows the fractured nature of global alliances in 2025. Meanwhile, inside Iran, the Koram Shah is being celebrated. National media has portrayed the missile as a triumph of domestic science and military independence. It's not just a weapon it's a symbol of pride. A symbol of resistance a symbol of what Iran calls strategic deterrence. But is this missile a bluff or a real threat? That's the million dollar question. And here's the thing, even if the missile never gets fired in combat, it already achieves its purpose. Deterrence isn't about pulling the trigger. It's about making your enemy think twice before they do. And in that regard, the Koram Shah is already a success. It has created uncertainty. And in the world of geopolitics, uncertainty is power. We must also consider the internal message. In a time where Iran faces economic sanctions, civil unrest, and generational divides, the government needs a unifying symbol. The Koram Shah missile A with its sleek design, patriotic name, and military pageantry A becomes a tool not just of war, but of narrative. It tells the Iranian people, we are strong. We are capable. And we will not bow. From a technical standpoint, military experts around the world are closely analyzing the missile's components. Reports suggest that the 2025 version uses composite materials to reduce radar cross-section and increase launch readiness. Some even speculate that Iran has begun experimenting with multiple warhead delivery a development that would significantly increase the missile's complexity and destructive power. But this is still a developing story. Satellite imagery, insider reports, and leaked intelligence continue to trickle in. 
and with every new piece of information, the global understanding of the core Amsha evolves. It's a moving target uh, both literally and figuratively. So where does this leave us? What does the emergence of the 2025 core Amsha mean for the balance of power in the Middle East? One thing is clear, it raises the stakes. Israel will likely accelerate its missile defense upgrades. Gulf nations may increase arms purchases from Western allies. The United States may boost its naval and air presence in the region. And Iran a confident yet cautious A will continue to refine its missile arsenal, playing a dangerous game of brinkmanship. But amidst all this, one truth remains, technology has become the new battlefield. And in this battle, missiles like the Koramsh are no longer just weapons. They are chess pieces in a global game of strategy, influence, and survival. Iran has made its move. The world is watching. And the next move could change everything. As we close today's deep dive, remember a behind every missile is a message. Behind every launch, a motive. And behind every development, a dozen hidden calculations that shape the future. Thank you for watching Luxury Dynamic, where we bring you the cutting edge of global defense and military evolution. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on stories that redefine power and innovation across the world. Until next time, stay informed, stay alert, and stay dynamic.